bleed black and gold bust forever you already know man it's your boy you know t green and i'm back with another one with the 2024 nfl draft quickly approaching we had an nfl combines coming up next month february 26th through march 4th in indianapolis and we have a few of our guys attending these camps to you know hey show height we some dogs and we trying to make sure we on tv on sundays so that got me thinking now Xavier Weaver hasn't made a post that he's going to be attending any of these combines, but we already know this dog arr, 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 will be there. And Dion already said this kid is special. We already know what he could do as a receiver, but as a punt returner, kickoff returner, whatever you need him to do, he could do it, right? So let's speak on this year. What did Xavier Weaver accomplish? He had 68 receptions for 908 yards, right? His longest reception was 48 yards with four touchdowns. You know what I mean? And he had two rushing touchdowns. So this dude just was sitting back. This dude was our dude, man. I got nothing but love for Xavier Weaver because it was a lot of games where, man, we needed a play and we needed somebody to catch that ball besides Travis or Jimmy Horn, and he came through. And I, some of the times, <laughs> we can't even front. He came through in a major way. I'm talking about big time way now. Let's not, <laughs> do I need to go over all the games? <laughs> I don't want to bore y'all a lot, so I'm not going to do that. But a Xavier Weaver, big dog. NFL scouting reports, what I've been reading, you know, I don't know if they playing on my dog top or not. You know, some of them saying early second round, early third round, possibly, possibly late, late, late first round. What y'all think? I want y'all to get down in that comment section right now. Let me know. Y'all really think Big Dog is finna go late in the second round or early third round? I think this is just me thinking. I think he could be a first round draft pick because at the end of the day, he did what he had to do. And this dude has been a dog since he came out. Not, not, don't get it twisted. He was a dog. You know what I mean? So when he made that transition, him and uh, Jimmy Horn, hey, them boys went the ball and out out here at CU, man. I mean, come on. So to say that, hey, third round pick nah i just can't buy that now i could buy an early second round pick but uh you know what i mean me personally you know i'm always root for home team first we already know this dude future gonna be bright in the nfl man so let's speak about some of his route warning right Weaver showcased a Vans route running ability. He used precise cuts. He got the change of direction. He know how to create separation from defenders. You know what I mean? His understanding of defensive coverages allows him to find those little soft spots and those little zone coverages they be running. And he exploit all of his mismatches. Like this dude really is locked in. You know what I mean? And come on. He's a reliable target. Now, every now and then, he may drop one, but Xavier Weaver is not dropping balls, y'all. He is proficient. You know what I mean? Hands-on ball skills is there. He got some of the top qualities that he consistently, as Deion say, consistently plucks the ball out there like, Come on, if he goes up for it, he going to bring that thing down. And he has a high point range, y'all. Now, he is not that tall, 6'1", 180, but the boy got some ups on him. You know what I mean? He could have been balling, like dunking on people. Like, he really climbed the ladder to go get it, and he's not scared. We all watched him all during the season. He will sacrifice his body to make sure he catch that catch. And third down opportunities in the red zone you could count on him you know what i mean <laughs> you could really count on him now nah, his speed yes they got him documented that he ran a four four but it's not your normal four four yeah i would like for him to be up there with those little four three guys four two guys but listen a four four a shifty four four <laughs> it's a big difference and a lot of y'all know what i mean by that he's just not running 
he's running with those those moves and jukes where it just look fluid you know what i mean it looks good and he has those instant bursts you know those instant as soon as he catch it uh, he's one step pivot i'm gone you know what i mean and that's and that's what you're gonna need uh in the nfl level you know especially the yards after the catch his ability to break tackles that's important the ability to get that defender off you once you have caught the ball i mean once you have caught the ball you know so <laughs> that's big and most important this the most important thing he's a strong wide receiver his blocking ability you know now we didn't run the ball how we wanted to this year but you can't uh, tell me when we did run the ball to a Xavier side he wasn't blocking a lot of times these wide receivers get real lazy you know what I mean they don't really be wanting to block you know what I mean but hey we ran to his side you could count on the Xavier so like I say man I think this dude gonna go either late first round early second round at best you know what I mean because he has it like it's it's, it's, it's not de it's no denying that so i'm excited to see what he do in the combine i'm gonna make sure i'm locked in because i'm gonna cover it again and and we're gonna we're gonna circle back on this come uh by the end of march well not the end of march about time to combine over that first week of march uh i meant to say we're gonna double back and then we're gonna talk about you know, how did a Xavier Weaver do? As well as other CU Buff players who has entered the NFL draft. But man, this is uh this is big time. You know, this is big time. Now I see why they make, you know, comparisons to Keenan Allen uh about this dude. So hey, I still feel like he the top 100 wide receivers in college football he's in that top um if you ask me he's in the top 50 um wide receivers in college football right now so huh, second round early or late first round what my dog going but y'all get down in the comment section right now and let me know what y'all think you know what I mean? Don't be afraid. Y'all get down there, man. Y'all already know we be vibing. And hey, you could tweet me, do whatever you need to do. But get down in that comment section right now and let me know what y'all think. Because I'm, I'm curious to see if this 2024 draft class scouting report is, is true. Because, <laughs> man, see you Buffalo. We got nothing but dogs. You already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know T Green, and I'm gonna be right back with another one.